initially attracted you into doing science as a young girl? What attracted me was interest in the world, uh, how things worked, and the fact that I love math. And to be able to put the two together to do interesting things, I thought would be fun. And, and so when you entered um, university, it was obviously a very male-dominated place. Um, and so um, what did you find hard about studying in that kind of an environment? Well, the subject matter was never hard. It was challenging, exciting, and that actually kept me going. Uh, what was hard was more the isolation, uh, being alone. But then over time, as I did well, then even the males came around and, and we became friends and, and colleagues. And so um, what would you suggest is the, the key um, idea or the key way of encouraging young people into science and technology? I think a key way is to uh, expose young people early. To science and, and engineering, then I think it's important for those of us in universities to reach out uh, into high schools, even into middle schools, and to bring young people in to see what really happens in the university and in a research environment. This is an in interesting statistic, uh, particularly at a time when uh, young people are, are thinking about their careers. The most common study of CEOs is not business, it's not finance, it's not economics, it's actually engineering. So, so I want all, all the young people out there to think about that. Nothing uh, can prepare you better uh, for success than the education you're receiving in math and science. You've had a number of different positions um, while you've been in working life. What's been your favorite? Has that been in the research lab or teaching or on the, on the board of one of the industries that you've worked, that you've advised? You know what the best thing is? That I've been able to do all those things. And the one thing builds on the other. And so it's a <coughs> privilege to have had this kind of career. I've worked hard at it, but one thing is built on the other. And so the favorite thing is that I've been able to do all these things. Well, thank you very much, Paul. Oh, thank you.